Hello there YouTube viewers, Elton here aka Retro Old School. It is actually a lovely, lovely evening here in Montreal. I'm in here in Montreal East, Montreal Est. And uh, I'm sorry, often when I see these guys with hoodies, I just think to myself, you know, they're fucking taggers. Or up to some other bullshit. But anyway, uh, here's a fire station I've been here for quite a while at. Uh, oh Christ, I don't know, over an hour easily. No response, I got a brand new ladder there. Then I got the idea, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, maybe I'll just uh, film a walk here on uh, 53rd Avenue, think on the Avenue, starting right here at uh, Sherbrooke. If I can get a shot of that sign without fucking killing myself because of the traffic here. Yeah. And we're almost actually on the tip of the island of Montreal. And, uh, oh, I filmed a lot of non-scrap here, let me tell you. Anyway, uh, one of the reasons why I got this idea to do this walk, because one time I was over, I was over at this fire station, and it was the most beautiful response I ever got. Like, seriously, it was like a fuck outstanding sky and a rainbow after a rain. And, and anyway, the fire trucks responded, and they went down this street, and I figured, well, the lighting is decent, so let's do a walk. See what we can see in this uh, poor slash working class neighborhood, just like where I live. Of course, I was down there. There's a CN train line over there to the St. Laurent sub, but I only got some uh, commuter trains. So we're going to go see what we can see, right? I don't think it's going to be a lot, but uh, I've never been down this street. It'll be fun, you know. Well, maybe more for me. I don't know. This is not very old. It just looks kind of old, you know. This is old. These, these kind of buildings here are very 80s. You know, I'm gonna keep my eye on that station there, because uh, here in Montreal, of course, like any big city, we got first responder service in case ambulances are all busy. Then the the uh, the guys who drives in the fire trucks are uh, trained to do uh, medical care, first response. Ooh. Anything else interesting here? Yeah. Oof, that looks like. Uh, fucking uh, second-hand store shit there to kind of paint things are like wordless you know they're it's not just that they're old the image is all faded out because of sunlight or neon light or something boy that grass needs a mow eh? it needs a move well, American cars here hey look at that Ford Chrysler Chrysler GM GM yeah it's just like where I live because American cars are inexpensive because they're not as good a quality and the parts are cheaper. That's a pretty cool Impala though, fuck yeah. Never seen them Impala like that, by the way. Hey, I'd like to give a shout out right now, by the way, to uh, um, my friend Antoine there in Granby. And also uh, friends to my other friends, uh, Marco, bus driver, my friend uh, uh, Jill, uh, bus driver, my friend Joe, the bus driver. And then there's, of course, a gentleman I talked to last night uh, for all the way from Alberta. Yeah, my friend Scott there whose uh, channel is one of the channels I watch religiously. Uh, ex excellent channel called Cold War Motors. And these guys basically do my dream of... Scott buys all, a whole bunch of these old cars, a lot of them that could have been crushed, unfortunately, and he saves them, gets them running, and operable. So now we are at the La Rue Foresight. Well, I had the foresight to come down here, didn't I? <laughs> uh, Anyway, Foresight and St. Anthony Avenue. And all of a sudden, it's all old school suburbia. I don't know, but somebody's got a major leaking gas tank. I can smell it. You can see it right there. Not too good. You know? I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for things. There's an old Altima. Yeah. I'm gonna take this bus later here. Ah, bah, nah. Rusted out shit box. Yeah, I'm gonna take the bus later to, uh, Back to the metro, the 187. Let's check out that fire station again. It almost looks like the pumper's got his lights on. No. I wish. Got a great zoom this camera. Ah, good old non scrap. Right on. You know, those of you guys who appreciate how old school I am and you're like that as well, you know. I have to say, and I know I had a friend reminding me about that years ago. He was very good at that. Anyway, 
he told me, he says, hey, you know, uh, eventually there won't be any non-scraps anymore. There won't be any older buses. The, the shit that you hate now, the scrap now, they're going to be old. And then everything, every year is going to be new scrap. So I don't know. I mean, uh, look, if the opportunity ever comes uh, to uh, maybe I'll friggin' go live out somewhere else where there's more older buses still in service. I don't know, you know. Look at what a beautiful, lovely evening. I didn't think it was going to be this nice, frankly. It's such a nice surprise. You know, look at that. Beautiful. I wonder if this goes down to Notre Dame, which I happen to live on Notre Dame. I'm in the East End as well, but I'm much closer to... I'm close to downtown compared to here. Here, like, I don't know if I mentioned, this is Le Bout de Lille there. Le Bout de Lille, which means the tip of the island, you know? Uh, excuse me, pardon me. Nice old homes, though. Look at that. That's not young, eh? I could have a little ho home like that. Here we go. Look at that. Good old non-scrap. Look at that. Nice and clean. Right on, right on. Bus service on this line is very, very frequent. And when a bus line is very frequent, that means, of course, that it has a lot of uh, a, a high ridership. A lot, a lot of people are poor and they got to take the bus. For me, it's not just a question of being poor. It's because I can't see. I'm visually impaired. Wow, it must be an Italian on this here. Look at that lawn. Holy macro. Holy Toledo, Batman. Wow, look... How can anybody live like this? How can fuck can people live like that? You have a house, you have zero view. You know how fucking sketch that looks? To me, that looks really sketch. Really. Really. I mean, look at that. Even the lawn's not even mowed. Man, the blinds are all closed. There's a fucking probably a grow up in there or something illegal going on. I'd be wet betting on it. And if not, it's some sort of shut in like major, you know? Like that fucking crazy bitch in Toronto. Okay, maybe she's not a bitch, but if she's fucking crazy. She had like 300 cats in one apartment, 300 cats. That's nuts. You know? Think about that. 300, 300, one apartment, not the building. One apartment. Make way up. It's, it's, there's, you know, there's hoarding. <laughs> and then I guess there's hoarding animals. You know, oh, come here, little kitty cat. You look lost. Swipe, you know, just snatch, snatch up all them kitties. Right? See, I keep looking back at that fire stage, see if the headlights come on in the pumpers or the, or the uh, la, 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 the ladder and get them responding. Like that color, hate that car. Yeah. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my clothes. The love is all around. Come on and let it show. Well, at least, at least I'm glad to get a walk here while the sun's up because, you know, it's been so goddamn cloudy. I was not even going to say this week, this month, more like this year, for Christ's sake. Montigny, that I mean, you know, it's such a huge difference when you film a nice sunny walk than dull, cloudy day. And here's a car I like, eh? The G35, dual exhaust, V6. Anything interesting around here? Oh, yeah, you know, another, another way you know you're in the East End, too is when you hear a lot of motorcycles driving around or see them as I have today older Beamer you know, of course I'm looking for anything old school I think a lot of these guys who have owned old cars they just you know they've gone to fucking motorcycles because you know the cool factor and they're just cheap on gas they cost peanuts to operate so we're going to continue along here on the 53 e Avenue, no? 53rd Avenue. The only thing I hate about when I come to this area, I have to think about this fucking prick I hate who's a bus driver. And I'm not going to say who because some of you guys are going to say, Ah, no, dis pas ça de lui, là. Qui mange la tabarnak dans mal, ce gars-là, sacrément. You know who the fuck I'm talking about. Any of you who knows me really well, that fucking backstabber who was on my case from day one. You know, and fucking guy driving that new look. I go for a nice ride on a classic new look bus. Hadn't rode in one in years and, uh, and then I have to hear later on that he was complaining because I was wearing a Saskatoon t-shirt with the Canadian flag on it. Anyway, I'm going to stifle myself, but uh, je l'ai pas apprécié, Collis. Complaining about my t-shirt, for Christ's sake. My t-shirt! You know? Still looking at that fire station. Fire station, by the way, in French is Caserne de Pompiers. Oh, there's a bus that comes down here as well. Nice.
You know, a lot of times I feel these drivers, they don't say hello to me, they don't seem to be too happy, it's because they, they've seen me before, I'm all over the fucking place, I'm filming buses left and right, they don't like that, obviously, a lot of people, they don't want that, they, because they think maybe I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm like an espionage, you know, like a spy or something, but they, they don't know I'm a bus fan, and even if a lot of them, they did, they're just, you know, they're fucking miserable fucks, and they don't, uh, they don't want to know nothing about it, you know, they don't appreciate it, they're just doing that fucking job because of the money, seriously, it's as simple as that. Plus same because oh, this person doesn't live around here. Too nice of a car to live around here. Look at this build. Look at this old house here. Wow. Hey, such a bed so please, uh, check my sir. It looks like an old, uh, an old inn, an old, uh, uh, like an old uh, inn. Uh, you know, bed and breakfast or something. Oh, there's an old Cadillac there. Cadillac with big fucking wheels. Actually, I want to go get a shot of that if I can cross here. Because they're not the most common cars around here, actually, these old Cadillac DeVilles. They weren't very good cars, you know? I'd like to get a shot of it, though, for you guys who are car fanatics like myself. Oh, man, that guy's got some nice wheels on that thing. Look at that, those are Vogue tires. Vogue tires means it's like a double white wall. It's a white wall, and then there's that other part that's kind of brown color, whatever you want to call it, uh, friggin' khaki. And, uh, yeah, that's sharp, I have to say. I have to say, it's not a brome d'elegance, but uh, c'est pas pire, parce que là... Uh, man, I can't believe this home... This, listen, that house has got to be like... Almost 100 years old, if not more than that even. It's just, I'm sure there's a story on that. Definitely a story on that. Not like these mostly boring apartment buildings. Look at this one even. This one, this one, this looks like the facade of my building. Nothing really special, really. You know, it's old, but not old in an interesting way. You know, frankly. What's interesting about where I live? Lopsided fucking floors. All the floors are crooked. The buildings are crooked, and uh, the, uh, the the this dark and all this. And oh, look at this old fucking place right here, eh? Check this out. What's that? An old uh, look at that old dépanneur. Dépanneur, by the way, is French for convenience store. Look at that sign. Oh, I like that dépanneur Madrid. Oh no, sorry, chez Mario. Oh man, that's beautiful. Isn't that cool? Bière et vin. Bière is beer. And wine is vain. Oh man, look at that Ford. Oh man, that's a sweet Ford. That's a dually even. Ah yes, that's what I was, I forgot about that. The tracks run here. These tracks connect with the CN line down there where I started the video. Hey, look at that beauty. Right on, baby. 92 to 96. Oh, look at this. They're gonna make condominiums. Look at these weird buildings here. What's with that cross? Anyway. Okay, there's a Corvette there, a little red Corvette. What? Wow, up all this. So, uh, man, that's a sharp Ford, man. Never made many of those step sides like that in any Ford or Chevy or GMC. Okay, so I guess we'll. Uh, Oh yeah, look at this, the fucking tracks, not at all used here anymore, look at that. They got this, they're gonna make, oh, anyway. Gee, it's amazing they didn't take these tracks out, eh? Well, yeah, sign of the times. Used to be quite a few tracks over here. I wouldn't even be surprised if uh, streetcars ran occasionally on this CN line here. Yeah. And I think that's Rue Notre Dame over there, and... Uh, it's an apartment building or a residence. What's with that cross? There must be a cross behind there. I don't know. I got that song by John Lennon in my head again. Whatever gets you through the night. It's all right. It's all right. What's this? What's that? I like round things. Round, rounded cars, rounded buildings. Oh, come on. What's all these cars? Can I cross here or what? That's a very 50s, 60s design there with that kind of a roof like that, you know? Gas stations were built like that. Gas station garages, churches, apartment buildings. They don't do that anymore, you know? Looks like a school, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll float on Notre Dame for a while after this. Yeah, that's sharp. I like that. Nice evening like this. Sun's still out. Very groovy. No fire trucks responding yet. I didn't even hear an You know what? It was so quiet today. I didn't think I hear any. I didn't hear anything responding. No ambulances, no police, no nothing. And now we're coming to the end. The end of the road, end of the line. 
let's see what bus is okay. That's an express bus, so we'll forget about that. Because uh, express time is like running out now. It's like getting close to 6.30, 6.45, something like that. Yeah. Commission scolaire de la Pointe de Lille. Oh, Pointe de Lille also means the end of the island. Oh, there's a bus stop here. That could be interesting. Maybe. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this thing. Not a very long walk, but, you know, that's fine with me because uh, I'm already a little tired, so uh, I'm just happy it's a beautiful evening to share this beautiful evening with you virtually, and, uh, you know, I'm going to see what else happens today there. Oh, man, I'm just thinking about this fucking camper I saw earlier. It was really fucking weird, really weird, so I'm going to see if I can check that out too one day uh, in the future. I didn't film it because it was on a restaurant parking lot, so... Alright guys, so it's okay, so as we say in French, it is what it is. Take it easy. And there's a Subaru Outback that I like. And, uh... Yeah. Adios.